Gmail labels are tags you can add to messages. Labels can help you stay organized and save important information. Unlike folders, you can organize emails under multiple labels. I will show you why students should make their own labels instead of using the default labels. First, let's look at how to make labels. Click the gear in the upper right hand corner. Click see all settings, then click labels. Now I will briefly explain the features of the label section. Here you will find the system labels such as inbox, sent, draft, and starred. Under this are categories, which I don't recommend using for your student email. Instead, I recommend using the next feature, labels. Finally, on each feature is a show hide option. You can also see label nesting. Now I will show you how to make a main label. Under labels, click create new label. Enter your label name. I'm going to make a label for my classes. Click create and you're all done. I will also show you how to make a nested label. Again, click create new label. I'm going to enter my label name, let's see, info 203. And under nest label under, I will click and select classes and create. Now I have info 203 nested under classes. Here's how to make a label from the inbox view. First, let's go to the inbox. I will select a message. Next, I will click this icon. This is the label icon and click create new. We will call this label webinars and I want to nest this label under events and click create. And as you see, it is labeled webinars nested under events. You can even do it from open messages. So let's open this message. All right, it's my new Google account message. So I'm going to go to labels again, click create new again. This one will be memberships and accounts. And I will click create and my message is labeled. It's that simple. Here are some useful labels I recommend as a student. Classes with nested labels for group project communication. Conferences, webinars, meetings, meetups, and social. After social events, I also recommend labels for extracurricular, like student groups and professional associations, memberships and accounts for account info and logins, and opportunities for scholarships, internships, assistantships, and writing opportunities. Finally, I also recommend a label for future information, including emails on things such as ePortfolio, future classes of interest, and graduation. Labels are useful as a busy student for when you don't have time to read all of your messages and want to come back later, when you want to save something for future use, when you want to archive messages but easily retrieve them when needed, and to visually filter through all the emails. This is a brief introduction to Gmail labels. Thank you for watching.